boys and girls, and welcome to my channel. I am Miss Kim, and today I want to share with you the book about the very cranky bear written by Nick Bland. Boys and girls, how do you tell when a person is cranky? That's right. They yell. They may scream. They may get upset. They may roar. And they may have a scrunched up face. <laughs> well, in this book, this bear is definitely cranky. And his friends want to cheer him up. Now let's see if we can listen very carefully and figure out which friend had the best idea. And what was it? Are you ready to get started? Let's start reading The Very Cranky Bear. In the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends found a perfect place to play. Moose had marvelous antlers and lion a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes and sheep. Well, sheep was plain. <laughs> There's the sheep. None of them had noticed that someone else was there. Sleeping in that cave was a very cranky bear. <laughs> Went the cranky bear. Roar, roar, roar. He gnashed his teeth and stomped his feet and chased them out the door. There they go. So in the jingle, jangle, jungle, on a cold and rainy day, four little friends had nowhere warm to play. Oh, no. Wait a minute, said Zebra, as she scratched her furry chin. Maybe if we cheered him up, he'd let us come back in. If I did not have stripes, said Zebra, I'd be cranky too. We should give that bear some stripes. That's what we should do. Stripes are silly, Moose complained, especially on a bear. My antlers has always cheered me up. Let's give that bear a pair. <laughs> what do you think would look better on that bear? Stripes? Or antlers. Well, let's see what happens. No, 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 said Lion. Antlers are a boar. A golden mane like mine, he said, would cheer him up for sure. Hmm. So Zebra fetched a tin of mud and lion some grass of gold. Moose got two big branches. And sheep, well, sheep got cold. Why was sheep cold? That's right. Sheep was still out in the cold, wet rain. Oh, my. Well, let's see what those little friends did to that cranky old bear. 
sheep was getting worried. They've been eaten up for sure. And then from in the cave, there came a very cranky roar. Zebra, lion, and moose ran out and bear was right behind them. They hid behind the bushes where they hoped he wouldn't find them. <laughs> Why is he still cranky? He's got antlers, stripes, and mane. Before we gave him those, Lion said, he looked so very plain. <laughs> what do you guys think? I know, he looks pretty silly, doesn't he? Well, let's see what happened. As Bear stormed back inside the cave, he turned and roared at Sheep. All I really want, <clears throat> he said, is a quiet place to sleep. Wow! That's all he wanted. That's why he's so cranky. So she fetched a pair of clippers and she clipped off half her wool. She stuffed it in a cotton bag until the bag was full. What was she making? <laughs> She tiptoed back inside the cave. <clears throat> Excuse me, bear, she said. Would you like a pillow for underneath your head? Oh, wow. Who has a favorite pillow that they like to sleep with? I do. Let's see if that helped change the bear's behavior, if he feels better now. <laughs> well, thank you very much, said Bear. And soon he fell asleep. Maybe he was dreaming of a plain but thoughtful sheep. Well, look at that. Now all of the friends are back inside. And what are they doing? They're playing cards. So which one of the bear's thoughtful friend came up with a wonderful idea? That's right. It was the sheep. And what exactly did that sheep do to help his friend not be so cranky? Very good. If you said shaved off his wool and made a pillow, you were right. Now, I bet you that bear went fast asleep and had good dreams. Boys and girls, thank you for joining me today in reading about the very cranky bear. And remember that a good book and your imagination will take you anywhere. Bye.